Welcome to the Trading Lounge and the Day Ahead Report. And here we're looking at the Dow Jones. And um, over the last couple of days, we've been looking at a little five-wave structure coming to the downside in terms of, uh, well, we've been working through here as a, um, a little A and a B and a C. And then we're looking for five waves down, which is the one, the two, and the three, and the four, and the five here. So uh, look, after five waves, we get a bounce. So we can expect uh, three waves to the upside at least. Um, but also, too, we've got the 12,500 here as well. And our market as well is on the 4,300 mark. Well, quite close. Anyway, big number, so we can expect a bounce there. So we can expect a bounce across um, most markets uh, from these current lows. So... Uh, in working, this is the S&P 500 here, and uh, yesterday we were looking at um, uh, working this little five ways. Well, it wasn't there just then, but uh, it's there now. So uh, that little five ways down here. So uh, that looks like that's uh, can be brought in now. That little low here. So uh, at the 1350 uh, here as well. So what we can look for here is it does look like we're getting a bit of an impulse wave coming up through here. I mean, this would be short covering from the bear market coming down and uh, also uh, coming into uh, the weekend as well. So a bit of profit taking coming in. So let's observe the structure that's coming in here. We know that markets bounce off large numbers of the 12,500, 1350. This is our target uh, yesterday, 1350. So that's in place now. So we really just need to see how this uh, pans out through there. And that's pretty much the same uh, with all markets as well. This is the FTSE here. And you can see once again, we're working through this uh, this corrective pattern through here. And we've got this uh, five wave structure down through here. So in line with the US market, that will bounce back up through there. And of course, the DAX is the same as well uh, in its uh, little five wave structure and also bouncing off the uh, 7,000 there. So um, yeah, good idea to uh, lock in some profits there. The Australian market as well, uh, coming into the um, uh, the, the 4,300 mark here. So uh, there'll be some support there. There is still a lot of um, selling pressure from uh, the Asian uh, region as well. When you look at the Nikkei and the Hang Seng and, uh, and uh, the, uh, yeah, well, and the, yeah, the Nikkei, the Hang Seng and the Shanghai, they're all uh, quite bearish. So um, you know, there is that downside pressure there as well. Um, just in looking at the indices in a, in a, in a larger picture here, uh, or just looking at um, the Australian market here, this this move that we've got down through here, it does appear that we've got, let me just shape this up here, just give me a second. Let's just have a look at the bigger picture while we're here. Okay, so just uh, bear with me for a second. Just uh, just shape this into a bit of perspective here as well. So if we're looking at this picture here, let's just get a few things in here. So that's 61.8 and the 50, um, so that's there. This, this move that's come down here so far, um, down here so, so far, is, is it, it does appear that we've got a little five wave structure to this point here. So that would be the one, the two, the three, the four, and the five D. So we've got a five wave structure here, uh, and then a, then a corrective rally here. Um, and then we've got this strong move down here, which you know does appear to be you know look like a third wave coming down. So uh, it 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 certainly could be an A B C correction coming down in terms of uh, an A B C correction like that. And then once that's finished, then we uh, move to the upside. So that that's that's a, that's a possibility. Um, but we also need to understand that we can get a larger five wave structure in here as well. Uh, it would be something. Uh, like this here. So what we would be seeing on the 4.3 here, down here a little bit further, is a um, uh, is a bounce, and that bounce would be a little wave 4 coming in through here. And if that's the case, then we'll get a five wave structure down th through here. Um, if this is the case, if this is the case, then we've got a larger bear market happening at that stage because if we get five waves here, then what we'll get is we'll get another three waves bouncing to the upside. So 
we would get a counter trend rally after that larger five waves down, probably back to the 4.4 there, and that would give us a bit of a head and shoulders situation here. Um, because we got five waves in the opposite direction and after a counter trend, then we would be looking at another five waves to the downside through to here. So that can bring us into this picture here. It could be a larger third wave down, um, or it can just be a larger uh, corrective pattern to the downside, but we can look at that if we get five waves here then we'll get another five waves over through here as well um, so yeah so that's that's it so yeah uh, the first step really is coming down to the um, the 4200 here uh, as such so we've got a couple of scenarios to work through there as you uh, as I just sort of pointed out we've either got this larger five waves down or we will be looking at this as an A and a B and a C here, and then we'll be moving up from that point there. So it does, what we do need to work out is we need to work out this bounce here. So either in three waves or this first leg up here will be in five waves. So that's what we'll be looking at in here. We'll be looking either at five waves or, th or three waves. But the irony of it is, is that um, the move, the, whichever way it goes, the first move up will be in five waves like that here, in this little first one here, either that little first one or the little corrective wave here. In both cases, we're going to get five waves. So we're going to have to um, just be a little bit... Uh, a little bit patient um, until we can work out uh, what we've actually got in terms of um, uh, the bounce. So in both cases, we'll get that little five wave structure there. So um, yeah, I'll just have a look at the, the, the Shanghai here as well in terms of uh, what we're seeing. Uh, this is moving uh, quite rapidly to the downside. We've got this from this bounce here. This can be counted in five waves or it can be counted in a corrective wave. This move down through here can also be counted as an ABC pattern here as well. Um, and that would be five waves in this last structure here in terms of the one, the two, the three, the four and the five. But if it goes any further than where it is now, if it pops down here further, then um, then it's, it's not likely to be an ABC. Then it's likely to take the lows out here. And that's reasonably important because... Um, that's our sort of major trading level through here. So what that does do, it just brings in a bigger, a bigger pattern through here, which would make it more, uh, uh, more, more bearish. Um, if that moves straight up from there, then we've got the possibility of this being a five-wave structure to here, a three-wave counter trend to match that, and then a five wave structure to the upside building up through here so then we've got the positive move there but coming back down here you know to technically breaking the low here but um, I can also say that um, you know coming back into here certainly the bias is is to a, a larger corrective uh, pattern so we would be seeing um, you know a larger five waves to the downside breaking through there in 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 such like this through here and when this is going to be a driver of course of all the asian markets and also um the base metals and the resources as well uh so we're seeing uh seeing uh oil should become a bit weaker now and um base metals are uh, are weak as you know but they can certainly with copper can certainly edge down lower let's have a look at those Okay, starting with copper, um, we know that we're working through a, um, a, a, a triangle pattern uh, through here, as such, like this. Um, so once this is completed here, then we should see further downside here. Um, but also in saying that too, there's a few bounces that we need to navigate. And uh, this move coming down through here uh, on the daily chart will be running into this area here, which is the support area through here. So we're expecting a bounce uh, from here. But just not yet. Um, it doesn't seem to be uh, coming into to play just yet. So we just need to. Um, it, it is slowing down. Of course, this is the this is the middle of the. There's always with with trends and corrections. There's always a beginning, a middle, and an end. And in this in this trend down through here, we've got the beginning, which is the sort of building process. Then the trend itself, and then the the ending process here. So we can see that it's sort of bouncing into support through here and getting support. Um, so there may just be another little move to the downside through here. So as we mentioned before, the 
uh, the three, four, five, the closest largest number, um, as support or resistance would be uh, playing uh, in through that, and this is uh, it here. So this particular uh, this this particular move we've got here so far going up through here is in three waves here so that really makes it corrective but to make it and confirm it to be corrective it really needs to take out this current low this low here its last low here and it's far off from doing that so if we just use the um, the the level here the 345 we've got it as uh, support here so you know if it moves up through here somewhere then we can take that to the to the long side up there, but um, yeah, just give it a bit bit of time. It, we've just been waiting for it to move across here, and it's actually got support here for the time being, um, which is good for the resources. But uh, what we're seeing with the resources is we're seeing uh, this stronger move coming down through here, moving away from the 72 area here, and that would be the 34 dollars on the on BHP on the on the local market. Um, so, yeah, we'd need to see the US dollar break to the downside uh, for for that, and we'll look at that in a moment. Let's have a look at the oil market. Yeah, I thought it moved a bit to the downside, so just a bit lower than I thought. So um, I, 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 we were looking at um, this move through here being an ABC correction in terms of an A and a B and a C, and I knew that was the middle here, the third wave in the C wave, because there's five waves in the C wave. Um, but I just wasn't sure about one of the little wave structures in here. I wasn't sure if we're going to take another move above the uh, 87.20 there, but um, it's not the case. So we can call that high in now at that, and this is corrective. So we should see, in due course, we should see uh, lower moves come into play here for the oil market. Uh, the gold market's pretty much on track of what we've been uh, chatting about and the charts on the site and so forth. So, um, yeah, we'll look at this being a positive move to the upside through here and then a A and a B and a C wave back to the 50-60% retracement level, which comes in around this sort of area through here. And in the from the B to the C wave here, the C wave, that's always got five waves in it. So the one and the two are in here somewhere. The third wave you can see through here. So we're looking at the fourth and the fifth to come down through here. How far will it come down? I'm not sure if it's going to extend or not, but uh, it may just come down. There's obviously some buying sitting here as well. Uh, so... Um, but that low should be taken out through there um, before we see any sort of upside there. So if you are going to go along through here, then it's it's probably a good idea to um, split your bet into um, into a f two or three parts and uh, look to build in on these uh, sub levels uh, through here. Uh, silver's much the same as the gold pattern, just slightly sort of lagging a little bit. So this is the uh, this has been the top here and the the ABC correction coming down through here um, and it may be finished because this is quite high up through here but we as mentioned before we can't go along until we've got the 3272 uh, as support there let's have a look at the US dollar and the euro and the Australian dollar just before we have a look at the uh, the currencies and the US dollar in, in particular, I just wanted to go back over the um, the Dow Jones on a daily chart here, and um, the S and P 500 has got a slightly different count to the to the downside, but um, with the Dow Jones we do see a clear five waves down. So from the high up here on the daily chart, we've got down for one, back for two, down for three, back for four, and down for five here. So. Um, after a five wave structure like this, then we'd be looking for a three wave counter trend uh, as such through here. In fact, that this is I had trouble with my data yesterday from um, uh, from a data company for the US market. So um, there's a couple of days missing here. So the futures are at uh, 12,500 here. So we can pretty much assume that this is. Uh, down here as such like that just for, for the time for just for the purpose of um, explaining this um, so look we do have five waves to the downside through here so we'd be looking at a 61.8 retracement level uh, from here so back up into uh, this area through here so it could possibly move back up to 13.2 up here it may not be the case because it's coming down quite quickly and there's a lot of concern out there but at the same time some type of retest through here um, once we've got that retest in play here yeah 
then we can look for another five waves to the downside. So with this little five waves here, we can pretty much take that. In fact, it would actually probably be larger than that. We could add another 60% onto that to get the third wave down if that's going to be the case. Um, but what I wanted to point out here is that um, after that, after that, if this is the case, uh, then we'll be looking for short positions. Um, after we've got an ABC pattern back up here, after we've confirmed that by getting five waves down and three waves back up through here, and then we'll be looking at working in short trades from here and we can have long, longer term short trades uh, in the market at that stage there. That's the place to, um, uh, to, to make some serious money. So it just got to fall into place and it may not be around the 13,000. It may be at the, at the 12.8 and it depends where the, lo the, the low of the first five waves come in here as well. Uh, so an interesting opportunity emerging uh, up here and we'll watch that unfold and, um, and look for a, for a place uh, within that. Um, this bounce um, off here after this five waves down through here, uh, when we have a look at the flip side of that in the, um, in the US dollar here, with the US dollar we're looking for an A and a B and a C wave back up through to here. There is a possible two, 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 two two ways to count this back up here. One of the ways we're looking at at the moment is a ending diagonal triangle in here because the C wave here should have five waves in it. So we were looking at the one, the two, the three, the four, and ending diagonal triangle in here to finish up in here and then rolling over uh, to the downside here. Um, so if I just, um, let me see where I am here. Okay, so th this is this is um, a couple of possibilities uh, in here. First of all, in the C wave that we're looking to to the upside here, we can go up for one and ABC back for two, and then all the way up for three to here and a four to here uh, and a five to here, and include that in there. And in that five, actually, that five can be in place right now, or we can have a little one more little push up to here to complete that, and then we move to the downside. The other count that that I'm sort of looking at that's got that's got legs as well um, is just slightly different, but um, it's the C wave up here has got the wave one here and the the wave two here, and then the third wave comes up to here, and then the fourth wave would be across to here, and then the fifth wave up. Um, the reason for that as well is because when I look at this structure in here, we look at wave one here, you see how we got that little B wave here? It goes up in three, in orthodox top, and then we got the C wave in five waves down to here. So this kind of reminds me of um, this little pattern from here. So from this A here, um, we've got this little three wave pattern up here for the B, which would be very much like this little guy here and then the C wave down to here. So that's why I'm looking for the C wave down to here and then a push to the upside, um, completing the fifth wave to the upside, which would probably be um, around the uh, around uh, an 80, the 8172 target up through here. So that's a possibility as well. And just putting that on the table there so we can just explore that together as, as uh, this unfolds through here. So, um, you know, we can see that it is struggling through here. So it's not really going to go anywhere for a while as well. Um, so let's also, while this is going on through here, let's have a look at what, what occurs in the, um, in, the, in the equity, especially the S&P 500 and so forth. So, um, yeah. Um, the other sort of interesting factor, this is, hasn't really moved much and it hasn't broken the 81 to the downside, um, yet we can see that the euro uh, on the four hour chart here has continued to push up uh, to, to the upside here. So I, I find that sort of interesting. So the, the correlation is, is, um, is a little bit out of whack and they need to come back in, into play. So this move up through here, we've been considering that we've got a low in place here. Um, but uh, I think it's always really important to to uh, to you know gravitate to the closest largest number, and it has been the 128 in this case. So um, we really need that as support there to prove that, to confirm that you know we we are going to be seeing uh, a third wave to the upside there. It does appear there's a couple of ways to count this up through here. They're both positive in structure. So if we can have a look at um, at those. 
I'll just run through the, this count on the 15 minute chart. This is slightly different from what we've got on the, uh, on, on the charts. Um, but uh, just before I get there, it won't matter too much. What, what, what does matter is that um, in terms of the levels here, we've got the arrival, we've got the reaction, we'll have the first high above the level, and then we'll have an A and a B and a C. We'll have some type of correction across the 128. So it's after the, after the correction. So after we've got the first high, we get an A and a B and a C or some sort of pattern across there. Once we've got it, at least three swings across there, then if we find support on there, then you can take the long position to the upside. So be careful about not getting chopped up in here because if it's going to fail, this is where it can fail from the 128 8th profit taking number. So yeah, now there's a couple of ways to count this to the upside. You, you can have a look on the um, on the charts to see the the uh, the other version. This version is just really having this as wave one uh, to the upside, other wave one here or wave one to here. This that can also be there, and that would count like this here, the wave one up to here, the wave two, and then the third wave uh, up to this point here, which would make this wave one, wave two, and then the third wave is to this point here, which would be the one, the two, the three, the four, I know there's overlapping wave structures there, and then the, the wave five to here for the wave three, then the A, the B, and the C for the fourth, and up for the fifth here for the third, the fourth wave pulling back, 38.2%, whatever, and then the fifth wave up through here in terms of up for one, the A, B, C for two here, the third wave, A, B, C for the fourth, and a little five wave structure up here for the fifth wave. So that wave one can be there. Let's just see what this delivers. It does appear that we've got like a little five wave structure here. So if we've got five here, we should see three here and then another five over here as well. So we may see the corrective pattern that we're looking for as um, wave two actually under the level rather than above it and across it. So just be aware of that. But either way, we want to see some type of correction in here, which would take, um, you know, take two or three sessions perhaps for that to complete and find support on there. And if that's the case, then that's where the long trade comes in. And we may be able to pick it up earlier through here, but this um, 12, this 127, this this number here, the 12772 here, the as I mentioned before, the 272 or the 772, they always play a strong part in the market. So we can expect the price uh, to fluctuate across this number uh, a few times yet. So I think just allow it to happen, let it settle, let it find its feet, let it use that um, correction of the foundation to work the next trend up uh, to the upside if that's going to be the case. Um, right, the Australian dollar. Right, okay, so um, with the Australian dollar, we've uh, just been looking at a five wave structure to the downside. That's what we we're looking at yesterday from up here. And we we're looking, we we're counting little five waves down here for wave one in brackets and wave two here. And then we we're looking for wave three to the downside. And wave three to the downside will have five waves in it. And we we're counting that down yesterday. So the one, the two, the three. And we we're looking at this as being wave four across to here. And then wave five coming down to make the wave three here. And then we we're looking for a wave four to come into play, coming back to the wave four of one lesser degree. I think that's where we we're up to yesterday. And our target was the 103.50 from memory. Uh, so the wave four pulling back up. And then, um, then the wave five coming down. So the wave five uh, coming down at the moment would be the one, the two, the three, the four, and uh, looking for the wave five to come into play here. This may be an A and a B and a C wave across here, and then we get the wave five down as well, because wave fours can be tricky little suckers, so just be, be uh, careful there. And the way that we deal with that situation is with the levels, and um, the top of subgroup one, if support was found on that, if there's a little five wave structure coming up through here, there will be an A and a B and a C across here, and then it will find support. Then you can go along from that point there, um, just to get yourself clear from being a wave five. But that wave five can be in place here because it did make a new low here. And we do have five waves in here. We have one, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, and then four and five. So that fits okay. So that can be that could certainly be the case there, and that would also line up with um, uh, with equities as well. So uh, we can leave that there. So we can start looking at this as being a positive structure to the upside. Um, so you just need support, and after a trend like this comes a correction. So an A and a B and a C wave. You need some sort of correction. You you know you 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 don't want to chase markets in trends. You want to you want to position yourself in a correction because you've got a higher risk reward ratio. Uh, because you can get the stop closer. Alrighty, good morning, good luck, and enjoy the weekend.